What's up, guys? How are you? This is Jim Prusak, physical therapist here at the Pain PT, and we're going to continue to discuss different strategies and ways you guys can work with your symptoms and your reactions in a very healthy way. And one thing we're going to talk about today are what we call trauma reactions. I've been going over this in our groups. Now, trauma reactions are innate, deep, unconscious reactions that happen in a split second. And they're typically from childhood adverse events, childhood patterns coming from trauma, PTSD, things like that. And what we know, there are four trauma reactions. There could be more, uh, but the four main ones are very classic. You guys know these fight, flight, freeze, and fawn, which you may, you may or may not have heard of. So fight, flight, freeze, and fawn. And the reason I want to talk about these today is that I want you guys to know which states your system or yourself goes into when you're under stress or under threat or feeling some danger, you're being triggered. Okay, so if you're going into one of these four states, which ones do you go into? Maybe you dip into a couple of them. Maybe you dip into one main one. So if we take the first one, which is fight, do you get into a fight reaction? Okay, if, if you get triggered, you get filled with emotion, you get stressed, you, you turn into a fight mode, you get aggressive, you become combative, lash out, you get upset, you get angry easily to defend yourself. It's not as common, that one, for people with these conditions of what we call BS, brain sensitization, or TMS, Dr. Sarno called it. Not as common, but I do see and have seen some people who use that as their primary trauma reaction or defense mechanism to stress. They get into a fight mode. So if you're not getting into that fight anger mode, it's possible you're going into one of the other three fear states. Now again, guys, this is these are unconscious reactions. This is something your nervous system brain has learned to do and will go to automatically. So you may go into flight, okay, which is very much an anxious type state. Okay, this type of energy, you want to get away, you want to avoid, you want to pull away, what if thoughts, sometimes perfectionism. So more of that sort of anxiety energy in your system the flight energy. So maybe you go there. Maybe you go into a freeze state sometimes. Now freeze is another fear state that sort of like in an animal, if you can't run, well, you're going to play dead. So your system starts to shut down. You start to get spacey. You start to become numb. You start to lose focus. You, you feel stuck and paralyzed. You feel like you can't move forward. You feel exhausted, depressed maybe. So those are all versions of potentially going into some freeze. You freeze up in the face of stress, in the face of a threat, perceived danger. And the final one of those four is what we call a fawn state. So a fawn state is a appeasing, people-pleasing state where you put other people ahead of yourself, put others first, you're always looking out for other people's needs more than your own, you're scanning the environment. You're, you're willing to go overboard and how nice you are to help other people so you can get your own needs met. Now guys, these four states, we can go into um, a variety of them or we can go into maybe one of them, depending where we're at. Which one of those four do you tend to go to when you're under stress or you're going into one of these reactions? Do you go into fight? Do you go into flight? Do you freeze up? Or do you fawn often? Okay, so it helps us to understand which states you go into or which state you typically go into so you can look out for that pattern in yourself of when your brain and nervous system are going there. And the idea with this is that you start to pull out of that these four states. They're not very helpful, especially when we're dealing with uh, situations and stresses that aren't truly dangerous. They aren't truly threatening. Um, and so we don't want our systems going into these states because it just gets reinforced. Now, 
we all have these four states in us as humans, and we actually need them for survival. So just like an animal in the wild, if somebody, some animal is attacking you and you couldn't fight it off, well, you try to start running away, right? Like a bear. And you realize, I'm not going to get away. So you'll freeze up. You'll play dead. Um, if it's a person, maybe you'll fawn. You'll appease them. You'll try to talk your way out of it. Sugarcoat it. Be super nice to get them to back off. Okay, so these are all states of survival tactics. You can say they're quick reactive states that we've learned. And we have a tendency to go there. But I want you guys to catch these because they're not very healthy or helpful when it comes to normal things that our brain is perceiving as dangerous or threatening. Perceived danger, perceived threat. So there's a fifth state, and you guys heard me talk about this state already, which is the ideal state to be in to handle um, perceived dangers and, and threats, which is stress, to handle um, situations and people that are uncomfortable. And this is the state of what we call facing. Okay, instead of going into a fight state, into a flight or flee state, or a freeze or a fawn state, we ideally want to move into what's called a facing state. Facing is when we uh, stop, let's say, running away from or freezing up or fawning, even fighting, and with a very determined mindful, relaxed, grounded space in us, we, we challenge the situation, but from a very calm, parasympathetic place. We're willing to face it. We're willing to stand up to it. We're willing to move through it. We're willing to tolerate it. We're willing to work with the situation. Okay, from this calm, grounded way, we're still empowered. We're very assertive. We're strong. And we're willing to face our fears. Okay, that's a classic one. So the three states that are fear again, flight, freeze, and fawn, we want to face those states. We need to get moving. So if we're stuck in a free state, we got to start moving. If we're, if we're moving towards flight and running away, we got to turn around and face the situation. If we're going into fawn and people pleasing and appeasing others to get a needs met, we need to stop doing that. We need to face the situation, stand up for ourselves, learn to become more assertive, say no, communicate our needs, so they're getting met directly. Okay, guys, well, when we start going into a facing state, we start reducing these other trauma reaction states. Okay, we start breaking them down. So the first step is to be aware that you're gone there. You're falling into one of your, your trauma reaction states. And you pull yourself out and you recognize, okay, I'm going to try not to do this. I'm going to move into a facing state. Let's face this situation. I'm not going to fight the person I'm not going to fight my symptoms. I'm going to face them. Okay, so this is the this is the state we want to go into, guys, and we want to recognize when we're falling into one of the other four states for yourself, and learn to come out of them a little bit quicker. Okay, once you're aware of them, see if you can work your way out of them because they, in and of themselves, are protective states. But what happens with these conditions is they're not. Not only are they not protect protective, they're very harmful. Okay, they're very damaging to us because they're being activated by the brain and nervous system, even when there's no real danger or threat anymore. There's no real danger or threat. Okay, so let's not go down the rabbit hole of these states in the face of symptoms, in the face of stress, in the face of emotions, in the face of people and places and situations, all these things that can trigger us, that we can catch what's going on in ourselves and make it a change, you could say, to take action in the right way. Okay, guys, where do you go? You go into a fight state, you go into a flee state, flight, do you go into freezing up, do you fawn? What do you do, or do you face it? Let's all move towards facing, and therefore we can face what's in front of us and continue to move forward towards our recovery. Talk to you guys next time.